She had just finished getting her nails done when a woman saw a chance for some quick cash inside a Westland nail salon. Jermont Terry live in Westland tonight. In Jermont, little did she know that her move was being caught on camera. Sandra, we're talking her every move. The sign on this front door to this nail salon says welcome, but there's at least one customer the owner doesn't want to see again. Okay, all set for the day. Thanks a lot. Jim. At Northwest Nail and Spa, manicurists normally file nails. But after one woman's visit, they filed a report with Westland Police. Makes you wonder, why would some people do that? Last Friday, this woman sat down to get her nails painted. Two nail techs worked on her. When they finished, the woman walked over to the counter and she paid. But she went back to the workstation and instead of leaving the tip, store surveillance showed her sticky fingers taking tip money. I was just mad that, you know, it's like getting your wage taken away. Look how she first tried opening the tip drawer from underneath. That didn't work. She glanced at her phone when an employee walked by, yet she did not give up. After several minutes, the sneaky customer eventually leaned over and pried the drawer open, taking several bills. In that video, you can clearly see that the woman was so busy looking over her shoulder, making sure that no one saw what she was up to, but little did she realize she was being recorded the entire time. It makes you feel unsafe. Regulars know the manicurists depend on their cash tips. It's terrible, first of all, that someone would do something like that to them. They are very hard workers. The workers normally leave the tips in the drawer. And then, like, at the end of the week, they will count it up. But this woman is accused of wiping away a good portion in seconds. Now, the manager tells me that this woman has stopped in, stopped by as a walk-in customer nearly three times, and sometimes she would sit in the shop for two hours at a time just waiting to get her nails done. With the video that they captured, she, they're now wondering if she was simply casing out the store the entire time. This video has been turned over to Westland Police. Reporting live in Westland tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. All right, Jermont.